Hi guys, RC Shim here. Welcome on the field. Today I want to do a very quick unboxing of the soon to be released new Quantum goggles. Here they are. And since the weather just cleared up, I want to unbox and test them right away. It comes in a really nice packaging and it should be really easy to get them in the air very quick. What do we have here? The goggles in this shiny plastic case, all ready to go. With some nice power adapters and really cool idea is this 9 volt block power adapter. In case you forgot your batteries for the goggles or if you need to test them really urgent. Of course they supply standard antenna. And it's also, of course, it's a normal SMA plug, not reverse polarity, so all the standard antennas like immersion or arm way will fit here. We, of course, also have an XT60 plug with some nose foam, I'd say, and a manual. So it's really easy, it's uh, not a diversity, it's just one receiver for a normal range one push button to scan for the channels and the slider to move the lens. It's really all you need to get a huge great image. And I will switch the antenna to a, to a more serious antenna right from the start. I'll do a quick test here. Yeah, and they fit nice. I mean, there is some weight resting on your nose. The foam is really nice. I have minimal light coming into it. Yeah, really okay. Nothing to adjust here or no need to adjust something. You can adjust the head strap so you cannot adjust the rubber on the side but the head strap. Yeah, but I didn't need to adjust something here. The image is nice, it's, it's sharp, almost sharp too. But sliding doesn't make a huge difference in magnification. One thing though, you can't set the channel directly. You can only hit the auto scan button and it will bring you the best signal it finds. Uh, and you don't see the channel. Okay, so now I fly with the fat chuck and she flies with the new goggles. Let's see. Schaut super aus, ja? Und wie hast leichte Bildstörungen da jetzt? Ja, danke. Okay. Die Bahn. Das schaut schnell aus, ja? Dass du nicht fliegst. Ja, da Wahnsinn. war ein Loch drinnen. Die ja, da war eine. Da haben wir. Da ist jetzt irgendwas kurz gestanden. Ah. Ah. Ui, ui, ui. Ein bisschen zu wieder aufgekommen bin ich. Super, ja. Das geht gut. Thanks for watching in the goggles. In English, please. <lacht> lieber, lieber not. <lacht> Dass wir beide. Drei, vier Minuten Flugzeit haben. Passt zu mir brühen rein. Ja, passt sogar rein. Das kriegst du für meine Tiere drin nicht schon auf. Ist okay. klar. Aber es passt schon. Du mal. Der Rotstich kommt woher? Hast du denn auch? Hab ich nicht, nein. Jetzt Kann man vielleicht mit dem Form ein bisschen umstellen. Es ist so ein Menüknopf. Ich, mein, ich bin ja mit dir verbunden, oder? Nein, nein, du bist, hast einen eigenen Empfänger. Auf jetzt der Drohne oben? Bei mir, mir grieselt es jetzt ein bisschen. Ist bei dir das Bild gut, bei oder? Bei mir passt Das ist interessant. Jetzt habe ich eine schierige Steuerung gehabt, jetzt ist es wieder gut. Ja, ich weiß nicht, ich habe die Hotel Jettler gehabt. Sieben wir es auf dem Fall. Ich meine, das ist ein richtig grauer. Ja, schau, da noch noch einen. Ich habe den Rotstich reingekriegt. Okay, so I tested it a bit. 
and I like it. The battery housing in the back is a bit small, but it's okay for 1500 milliamp batteries. The receiver actually worked a bit better than the Fat Shark Dominator HD receiver I had. Found a little bit of, of a tendency to red colors, so the colors are a bit off, but sharpness is okay. Really liked it. The, the image size is comparable to the to the Dominator HDs. It looks a bit larger maybe on this here, so it's not too large from the field of view. It's it's about okay from the distance. Wearing comfort is okay. It's really soft. Didn't need to adjust something. Fresnel lens, Fresnel lens. They came back from the acrylic lens to the Fresnel lens. Maybe because it's lighter or it has a better, better magnification ratio. But it's just about the same principle than it is in the build it yourself. It has some matte black satin like style which blocks the light reflections on the inside here okay so i hope you liked the review if you're new to the hobby and if you uh, if you are looking for cheap uh, ready to fly goggles where you don't have to build anything uh, where you don't need to adjust anything uh, i think these are quite good ones they have a uh, built-in uh, receiver with auto scan feature I think 40 channels, race band, all the standard things. It states 90 dBi sensitivity. It's not super sensitive like the FR632, but it's okay. In my test, it actually felt a bit better than the internal receiver module of the FedShock Dominator HDs. Receiver is okay. Of course, it's not a diversity and you have no uh, audio video plug. So you can't use external uh, receivers if you plan to upgrade. So this really aims to just, yeah, maybe the racing uh, guys of you who want to invest, invest as little as possible. So that's a good, good um, point to start. Okay, so I hope you guys like this. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have some questions, ask me in the comments. Like the video, share, subscribe, all the stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.